Hey everyone, Techno Ninja here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. Your account has been disabled in the App Store or iTunes on your iPhone, iPad, MacBook, whatever it is. You're going to follow these steps to fix it. So generally, when you see this message, it usually means Apple temporarily locked your Apple ID for security reasons or for a failed payment. So first thing you're going to verify is in your setting, tap on your Apple ID account here. From there on, you're going to check media and purchases. You're going to click on media and purchases, and click on view accounts. Once you click on view accounts, you're going to get to your account settings here, and you're going to tap on manage payments. Now in the manage payments here, you want to verify that the, pay the payment card that you have did not expire or change. Sometimes if you get a new card, maybe your old card expired, you need to update the new card information here along with your billing address. So if you moved recently and your card billing address changed and it might be not be able to uh, verify your payment. So you want to make sure those two are correct as a first step. And then from there on, we're going to go back here. Now back in the main account settings here, we're going to also verify under subscriptions here that you don't have any subscriptions that are failing. You want to either delete them or pay them. If you have pending subscription because it could not process the payment, it's also going to disable your account from doing anything like downloading apps or even using Apple ID. So you're gonna verify that is also the case here. So those two things you wanna verify. Now after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do is maybe still disable is try to reset your Apple ID password to re-enable a disabled account. So for this, you can go to any browser. I'm gonna use Safari here. You're gonna to go to the website, I forgot dot apple.com so i forgot is an all in one word dot apple.com when you go there it's going to take you to apple's uh page to reset your password so you can click on reset password and it's going to verify your apple id account here so i'm going to click on reset and when i do that it's going to ask me to enter my phone's passcode here so i'm going to enter that and then from there on you're going to go ahead and enter your new password if it might also ask you for your current password as well in order to change it. But essentially changing it does is go ahead and if a locked account or disabled account will be re-enabled and active again. So you want to go ahead and do that as well. Now after you have done that, let's say you update the payment, you reset the password and it's still not working, you may need to also go into your setting again one more time then click on Apple ID account and go all the way down. You're going to click on sign out but don't erase the phone. Sign out, but don't erase. And then you're going to sign back into your Apple account. That way it can re-enable your account as well. Now, along with that, if you sign back in and do that, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to go back to this time media and purchase again one more time and click on view account. And then just verify again, your payment is updated again. And then there's no active subscription that needs to be paid or removed as well. Now, if you're still having an issue with your account here, you're going to want to open up support ticket. So for you to do that, you're going to say disable. You're going to Google search basically disable Apple account. When you search up disable Apple account, it's going to take you to basically on the Google site, the very first link here to an article that tells you what happens if your account has been disabled. What you're going to do is go down on this page and then uh, if you need, you can go ahead and request a reactivation. As you can see here, you're going to click on request reactivation. When you do that, it's going to take you to this website that will enable your account. So you're going to get started here. And then you're going to go ahead and sign in if you didn't sign in with your Apple ID and password. And when you do sign in, they're going to give you an option to basically open up a support ticket. So here I'm going to go ahead and whatever the problem it is, maybe you can't download an app or purchase an app. Or any of these or you can access your subscription so I'm just going to select one I'm going to hit continue and when I do that it's going to go ahead and make sure my account is active and enabled now for some reason if you can you're going to click on continue to support options and then go through the process here uh, of whatever applies to you and that will go ahead and help you create an account ticket so that's all you need to do and I hope this video was helpful so Please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. I'll see you guys next time.